Hi guys, got a request from Louis Skating to make a gravity powered toy skateboard. Well, I just happen to have a toy skateboard from Poundland, I think it was. And there's quite a few basic problems with trying to make one of these gravity powered. And the first problem is how do you drive the wheels? Because the wheels aren't designed to be driven, they're designed to be freewheeling. Looking at this one, they're not straight anyway, so it's going to go around in a curve. But the only way I can think of making this gravity powered would be to replace at least one pair of wheels with an ordinary straight through axle that I can actually wrap a bit of string round. So it's not going to be able to work like a skateboard. I mean this doesn't anyway. There's no tilt and turn on it to steer it. These are fixed. They're made to look like they do but they're just fixed. So if I'm going to make it gravity powered I'm going to have to change the wheels, put an axle on it that I can wrap a bit of string round that goes up a tripod or something for the weight to drop down. So I guess that's what I'll have to do. These wheels, they've just got a screw in the side of them to hold them in place. So they'll be easy enough to remove. So I might be able to use the wheels again that's the actual wheels that we're going to drive, but I'm going to have to replace all this with an ordinary axle. Right, so I'll make a make an axle, a bit of tin plate or something to hold it in place. See if we can reuse the wheels. Found a piece of scrap metal. It's reasonably soft to bend. I'll use that as the frame for the axle. So I'll drill a couple of holes in it. do for my axle. I'll bend it up like a U shape. We need to fit it here somewhere. Should be able to reuse the holes that are there. And mark it up. a hole in the middle for the string to come through. That looks about right.
I'll need to put a couple of nuts and bolts through there to hold it in place. That's the axle assembly in place, so we've got the bit of bent uh, tin plate, axle made from a piece of wire, a couple of plastic spacers either side. The axle's a little bit thin for these wheels, but I'll probably put hot glue on there and that'll fill up the gaps with a bit of luck. And then we need a bit of string to come from the tripod that I haven't put on top yet to attach to the weight and to wrap around the axle. So I'll put a little hook on there to hook the string onto. Just going to solder a little metal peg or hook onto the axle. I've pre-tinned it. so that we can hook the string on. I've also cut some notches into the end of the axle to grip the hot glue when we put it in the wheels. I don't know if it'll work, but there's one way to find out. When I say a tripod, I'm actually going to use four barbecue skewers. Should do. We're down in the kitchen, got the weights at the top of the tower and got the skateboard just behind the red line. We'll see how far we can go. It's not going to go very far because there's not much of a tower, it's not very tall and also because the wheels are so small on the skateboard each revolution is not going to take you very far. So it's, I should think we'll do a metre if we're lucky. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's not bad. That red line is a metre away from the first red line. And we went a little bit further. In fact, I think we might have hit the carpet just there. So it might have freewheeled a little bit. We'll give it another go. I'll point it off to the left a bit this time to allow for it turning to the right. About the same distance. So about 1.1 meters, maybe 1.2 at a push. Still, it's a success. Job done. 
a gravity powered skateboard. Summary time, what have we got? We got a cheap toy skateboard from Poundland. We've got a tower made out of barbecue skewers with a pulley at the top. I think that's just off of the picture there. Yeah, pulley at the top. A bit of cotton wrapped around the back axle and a weight. That's actually neodymium magnets. There's no significance in that other than it's easy for me to add washers at the bottom to increase the weight until it works properly. Better just cover off that axle assembly. These axles are completely useless. They're just bits of plastic with screws in the ends holding the wheels on. So I made a metal U-shaped bracket and my own axle which spins nice and freely on it. Still use the original wheels but that's it. Simple little toy. Not particularly effective but it does work.